You ever ask yourself if there's a collaboration that just doesn't need to really happen? Well, Lee and Lee, O11, D Lee, Evo Lee, RGB Lee, Automobili, Lamborghini, Edition Lee Lee by Lee, Lee, Lee and Lee Lee. Cable Mod's new Stealth Sense technology effectively eliminates the need for sense wires for your 40 series GPU. Stealth Sense features a hidden bridge which signals the GPU that a full 600 watts is available, all without the need for fragile sense wires that can easily be dislodged, leading to a black screen and 100% fans. To see the full spec list and power supply supported, follow the link in the description below. Okay, so obviously, all jokes aside, this is a Lamborghini Edition 011 Dynamic Evo RGB. So I just want to kind of unbox it, take a look today, see what makes it Lamborghini. My biggest fear about this is like, we put the bull on there and now it's $200 more, at least. Oh, okay, well, it was a box in a box. Now it's gonna, now it looks like a Lamborghini. If you were wondering, the actual official color for Lamborghini is yellow to be the opposite of Ferrari, which is red. Don't forget, they used to make tractors. Lamborghini used to work for Ferrari. And Ferrari was like, no, we're not gonna do that. That's stupid. You make tractors or some stuff. And they were like, okay, we can do it better. I just don't know where this comes in with computer stuff. And I'm a car guy, so we're gonna find out together because this could be great or this could be terrible. I really don't know. So one of the things that makes this a quote unquote Lamborghini edition is not just the fact that it has the, it's a, special black paint, carbon fiber panel, yellow trim, but you can see right here, it has a five inch display built in as well. So like sensor panels are kind of becoming a thing now built in the cases. There's also uh, a limited edition to these. They're numbered, I think there's 6,500 of them total available. I'm not so sure. Other than that, it's a 011 Dynamic Evo. So flow, tests and all that stuff should be unchanged from the original editions. They even went as far as making the inside of the box black. So this is where some of the cost is gonna be right here, the box. Well, it said 6,500, but that says 6,498. So there's two of them chilling somewhere without numbers or something. Anyway, it says, apparently we got 0, 0, 0, 0. Should it be 0, 0, 0, 1? Anyway, um, okay, so as we can see here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the peel, this, is very deep, ooh, very, very smooth too. This is carbon fiber right here. Carbon fiber, carbon fiber, carbon fiber. <laughs> Fortunately, because the carbon fiber is flat, it shouldn't be too expensive for them to manufacture. Yeah, you can see right there, it's just adhesive to, or bonded to the frame. Uh, ventilation wise, exact same panels you would find on the normal Evo, only this is apparently, it says it's a special black paint. So most of the Evos I think are either like gunmetal or white. This is black. So that's kind of nice looking. Inside's pretty standard. You can see there's an indent here though where the plaque gets put on. So there's the numbered plaque for the Evo RGB. The inside, as you can see here, exactly the same as any other Lee and Lee Evo. Exactly identical, same chassis as always. It's interesting too is the glass is a mirror glass. I don't know if you notice that. It's not like a typical translucent, like see-through glass, transparent. It's actually a mirror. So as you can see, the side panel here is also a mirror finish. Let's get that off. The mirror finish looks really nice. And there's still plastic on the inside. I haven't taken it off yet. Let me get this out of the way. Put your glass panels in your case box so you don't break them. Okay, so the inside, nothing to talk about. All the same, with the exception of this rear five inch display. This is actually typically where you would see the uh, Der Bauer plate. So Der Bauer got Der removed for a Lamborghini edition screen apparently, but it's not just a screen. It's pretty interesting on the back. There's buttons right here. So it says CPU, GPU. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is some sort of a quick switch between like the display readout and then colors. We could change modes and stuff somewhere. Then there's a cable right there. And I want to see where that other end of that cable goes. I want to know is it can't be just be an HDMI. It's gotta be a USB device. Now I'm assuming plugging into the motherboard. Otherwise these buttons wouldn't do anything if it's just a monitor. All right, and here it is right here. Here's the little cable. Now that means you're gonna have to probably use Lee and Lee software. Uh, this is all the typical stuff you get with the, with the Evo. These are the adjustable rails and stuff for different fan mounts. And then you get your screw container right here, which has all your spare screws and zip ties. And then this is the anti-sag bracket for the graphics card right here, which just mounts to the back wall and then supports your graphics card. So all pretty much the same right there. So what makes it Lamborghini? Well, obviously this carbon fiber panel, this carbon fiber panel, 
that mirror glass, that carbon fiber panel, that logo, that screen, and that number plate. So not a whole lot else to talk about here. I mean, it's the same otherwise. Like if we take these panels off, it is the same chassis as a normal dynamic. You might start asking yourself though, like why does, why does this exist? I suspect, quite honestly, that there's someone at Lee and Lee's headquarters higher up in the company that is a car enthusiast and maybe a Lamborghini enthusiast. It was like, we should do a Lamborghini edition. And here it is. <clears throat> now the price, as far as we can tell from searching the internet, is $299, which to be honest, it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as I feel like I was expecting it to be being a Lamborghini product, having carbon fiber and a screen involved or included. So it makes it almost double the price of a standard Evo RGB. So you gotta ask yourself whether or not the exclusivity of it being a, I don't know, is 6,500 units really a low production case volume? I guess it kinda is, but I need to find an extension cable or a hub that I can plug this into. And I just wanna use our laptop or something to make the screen show up so we can see exactly what the screen allows us to see and do. So the software is very basic. As you can see right here, it's literally just this one little GUI that gets you a drop down to choose between package cores or graphics cores apparently. And then I only have the GeForce 3080 Ti laptop on here and there's a compatibility startup. I wanna point out, they wouldn't start for me for a couple of times until I like restarted the system and then ran a repair install on it. So that was really awkward. Anyway, and then you can put a delay on start. Now on the back, I can push the buttons here. So here's CPU and GPU. So that's CPU. I like how it's, it's gauges though. And if I push it again, it'll switch to GPU. It's a little bit of a lag when it does it. It could be the Nvidia because it's probably switched right now to the internal because it's a laptop which means if I were to start something that requires the GPU, um, then you'd be able to see it. Now you can change color, which I'm assuming is gonna be, yeah, so that just changes the way that the background looks. There's like a green and yellow, red and yellow, white and red. If you're wondering what I'm looking at, cause I'm just like staring off into space, I'm seeing the reflection of it in the glass on the inside of the case. So I'm, I'm using that right now. Cause it doesn't show on the screen as you guys saw. It's blue and red. Blue and yellow, blue, white, and red, green and yellow and white, I think. Okay, and then we're back to where we started. So I don't like any of these layouts, honestly. It's probably what, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume this is not what the Huracan layout looks like. I'm assuming that this is the Ventador, um, like the Ventador layout, I, I assume. It's been a long time since I've been inside one. I don't think it's the Huracan layout because the Huracan is a, is a Volkswagen auto group product between Audi and Lamborghini, whereas the Aventador is a true Lamborghini in-house product. So I'm assuming that that's what these gauges are, but I could be wrong on that. You'd have to just compare it. I'm just not a fan of the overall like aesthetic of it, but I don't know, maybe that's what it actually looks like on the dash. And then you, know, you, you spend a million dollars on a car and then you get, you just probably, like it by confirmation bias because you bought it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to find like something that I think would go well with the black and the yellow. Like it should just be a gray and yellow, blue and yellow. Okay, fine, blue and yellow, I guess. I mean, it's cool and all, but it's very limited actually on its function because all you're getting, as you can see, is temperature, uh, Fahrenheit, both Celsius and Fahrenheit, and then you get the frequency. And then obviously it's a, there's a, a meter on where it would go like maxed out. But at the end of the day, when you do collaborations like this, this is always a little bit of a risk. Like it's definitely a risk in the sense that you've got to be taking a bet that there's enough people out there interested in whatever the collaborative theme is to buy it. I mean, we've seen this in the past with like what uh, Asus was doing all of the Gundam stuff, right? That was really popular. Some case manufacturers got in on Starfield, which wasn't really all that popular. By the time they designed it and manufactured it, Starfield had already sort of crashed and nobody cared anymore. Um, obviously it's been like World of Warcraft themed stuff. So gaming stuff makes sense. But it, it's odd to me to, to have automotive tie-in because that's a that's a that, that's a gap you got to jump and bridge those two communities. Now, if there's anything I've learned with all the car stuff I'm involved with, is that there's a huge crossover between the PC community and the car community. So, will they find 6,500 people to buy these? I'm sure they will. At some point, they'll all sell. So, just like my my water blocks, which were also sort of automotive theme with the um, forged carbon look on the uh, the hydro dipping that was on the cover for my CPU block in a collaboration with Corsair. Uh, those all sold and you know, a lot of people actually didn't even water cool with them. They just put them on display because they thought they were neat, but those are gone. So as I have to assume these will disappear too. But this is where you guys sound off down below. Not only do you think this is a, a good collaboration between Lee and Lee and Lamborghini. One, how do you feel about the price being 
300 bucks as far as we can tell. Like we pricing info, we found it online, you put it in the cart, it said 300, but then it disappears because it says out of stock. I don't know if they were ever truly in stock yet. It just launched a few days ago. I'd be surprised if 6,500 of them sold in what, two days, three days, whatever it's been. Uh, the other thing is, what theme do you want to see? Like what, in your mind, what would be like the ultimate case collaboration in terms of having a themed case with something you just buy and it's ready to go? And I'm not talking about like UV printing on the side panel, you know, um, Apex Legends or whatever, whatever other crap, you know, people are playing these days. Just putting a picture on the side doesn't count as a theme as far as I'm concerned. Like having stuff that's custom, like the carbon fiber and all that, that's theming. What do you want to see? What would be like a collaboration that case manufacturers are missing out on right now because they just aren't doing it? Sound off down below, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.